Berry Petroleum Corporation is a petroleum, natural gas, and natural gas liquids exploration and production company based in Bakersfield, California. Its production is 46% in California, 23% in the Permian Basin, and 13% in the Uinta Basin. Topic: History. Berry Petroleum Company was founded in 1909 by Clarence Berry in California. In August 1996, the company acquired Tanhill Oil and its affiliates for $25.2 million. In 2003, the company acquired properties in the Uinta Basin in northwestern Utah. In February 2013, Lynn Energy acquired the company for $4.3 billion, including $2.5 billion in stock. In February 2017, Lynn Energy completed a financial restructure that included the corporate spin off of Berry into a separate company in July 2018 the company became a public company via an initial public offering topic 1993 oil spill In December 1993, an oil pipeline owned by the company leaked, resulting in a spill of 84,000 gallons of heavy crude oil into McGrath Lake, near Oxnard, California. Barry had acquired the 40-year-old pipeline from Chevron Corporation in 1990 after it had been abandoned for 10 years. The line had been used to transport natural gas, yet Barry began to pump crude oil through it without making any upgrades. Moreover, it was revealed that ten months before the oil spill occurred, a safety valve that might have prevented the leak had broken and was not repaired. Both Barry and the state negotiated through the press, with Barry countering prosecutors' threats with talk of suing the agencies that neglected to investigate witness reports and notify company officials of the leak. Several months later Barry agreed to pay a $600,000 settlement and pleaded no contest to a single misdemeanor charge of failing to report the leak. In addition, the foreman on duty during the spill pleaded no contest to a charge of illegally releasing oil into marine water and was ordered to perform 320 hours of beach cleanup. Although free of criminal charges, Barry still faced a civil case from the state attorney general's office. That matter was settled in January 1997, when the company agreed to a $3.2 million fine. 